Welcome to the Centrifugal Pump Minute. Today's topic is coupling alignment. My name is James Farley and I'm the Griswold Product Manager. Coupling misalignment is one of the key sources of vibration in centrifugal pumps, yet we can control it by proper alignment. Today, we're gonna to talk about what that process is. Before starting coupling alignment, we need to check the whole installation for some key requirements. This is gonna include having a rigid foundation or base plate for the pump and motor to be mounted to. Additionally, we need to make sure that the piping is going to be aligned with the pump so that we minimize nozzle loading. If we have issues here, we need to fix them before we move into coupling alignment. It's also important to conduct alignment when the pump is at normal operating temperature. The pump and the piping will go through thermal expansion and we need to set the alignment when we're at that normal temperature. First step, we want to loosen all of the bolts on the pump and the motor and align the pump to the suction and discharge piping. We're then ready to tighten the bolts on the suction and discharge and that will set the pump in position on the base plate. Second step, we're now going to fully tighten the bolts on the pump and secure that pump firmly to that foundation. It's very important to not use shims between the pump and the base plate, otherwise you may get soft foot condition in the future. We are now ready to perform alignment. We would recommend using a laser alignment tool. These tools very precisely measure the alignment of the pump shaft and the motor shaft because there are sensors that are directly attached to each. The additional advantage is that the tool gives you guidance about how to relocate and position the motor so that it is fully aligned with the pump. If you don't have a laser alignment tool, Alignment can still be accomplished with a dial indicator, as you see here. Before we go through that process, I'm gonna explain some of the terminology and what steps are needed to get the motor in alignment. We need to be checking both parallel and angular alignment. Angular means that the two shafts are not aligned. And as an example, if the motor was tilted at a severe angle, the two shafts are clearly not in angular alignment. Parallel alignment is where the two shafts are offset, yet they're still parallel. So that can be vertical or horizontal. We need to be checking both of these. In order to check angular alignment, we're going to be using a dial indicator. The dial indicator needs to be connected to your pump shaft and then come in contact with the face of your coupling. It's also important to make a mark on your coupling because we need to rotate both the pump shaft and the motor shaft together to get an accurate reading. Once I have the dial indicator set, I need to zero the indicator out and rotate the indicator 180 degrees with both shafts moving together. The change in reading tells you how far out of angular alignment the pump is. To demonstrate, I would rotate both the motor and the pump shaft together, take it to 180 degrees, and measure the change in reading. If I'm measuring in the three and nine o'clock position, I'm measuring the horizontal alignment of the pump. If I'm in the 12 and six o'clock positions, I'm measuring the vertical angular alignment. After adjusting the angular alignment so that it's within tolerance, we now need to check the parallel alignment. To do this, we're gonna take a dial indicator and place it on the outer diameter of the coupling. Again, we should mark the coupling so that we're where you know that we're moving both shafts together. We're gonna set the reading at zero and rotate 180 degrees. The change in reading needs to be checked against the tolerance requirement, and we need to adjust until we are within the published requirement. Again, if we're testing in the three and nine o'clock positions, 
we're checking horizontal parallel alignment. We're checking in the 12 and six o'clock position, we're checking vertical parallel alignment. Pump alignment is critical to minimize the vibration of the pump and maintain reliable performance. Thank you for joining us.